Okay, hi everyone. Welcome to today's lesson. Okay, last Friday we talked about financial literacy. Okay, financial literacy. I think this is the most important topic uh, in your book. Not because of exam, but uh, to succeed in life. Okay, to succeed in life you need to have financial literacy. You need to know how to manage your finances well. Okay, last Friday, we talked about savings and investings. Okay, savings and investings. Now, you, you need to have the habit of saving money. Okay, not spending every dollar, every ringgit you, that you have. But save your money for rainy days, for emergency. Okay, when you need to use it, then you use it for important things. So where can you save your money? You can save it in your coin box, okay, your piggy bank. And the best place is always uh, in the bank. Okay, bank is a safe place uh, to save your money. So when you have a few hundred ringgit saved in your coin box or your piggy bank or your wallet, then you can ask your parents to help you to open a savings account. Okay, account simpanan at any bank okay all the banks uh, they function just the same okay just a different brand right um, so uh, you can open savings account and every time when you have extra few hundred ringgit save it in the bank and the bank will pay you interest rate okay bank akan bayar kamu faedah okay uh, not as high as this but I think it's less than one percent Okay, so what is savings? Is the money kept or deposited and can be used when necessary. Okay, so this is savings account. And um, if you want to succeed in life, you need to learn to invest as well. Okay, kamu perlu belajar untuk melabor. Okay, melabor. So the money that you save, you use it to invest. Okay, invest in stocks pardon me okay invest in stocks in unit trust in properties in gold okay so many things you can invest now what is investing it means to grow your money so your money earning more money and it becomes more Okay, so investment is the money used for a certain business or properties, okay, or gold or stocks that will give you profit in the future. So money earning money. Alright, so that was last week. Okay, today I want to talk about simple interest and compound interest. Okay, interest means faeda. Okay, so what is simple interest? What is a uh, compound interest? Okay, look here at the conversation. Um, okay, so in, a, in your first year, when you save your money in the bank, let's say you save 2,000 ringgit uh, in the bank. So what happens here is uh, the bank will pay you interest. Okay, let's say you put in fixed deposit, simpanan tetap, FD. The bank will pay you around 1.8%, for example. So after the first year, you get 36 ringgit for your interest. This is the first year, tahun pertama. So the first year, the interest that you get in the first year is called a simple interest. Okay. So this again, uh, the interest that you get in your first year, value of the first year is simple interest. So at the end of the year, your savings of 2000 ringgit Plus your simple interest of 36 ringgit, you get a total of 2036 ringgit at the end of the year. And then starting from second year, tahun kedua, your money starts at 2036 ringgit. Okay, and then the bank pays you another 1.8%. And now you get 36 ringgit 65 cents. Now this interest is now called compound interest okay compound interest so 
So why is it called compound interest? Because starting from second year, not only your 2000 ringgit saving is earning interest, your 36 ringgit interest from the first year is also earning interest. Okay? So this is called compound interest. That means your savings and your interest are earning interest together. Whereas in your first year, only your savings is earning interest. There's no interest paid yet in your first year. So that is called simple interest. But starting from second year, third year, fourth year and so on, you would have uh, earned interest. So when your interest is also earning interest for you, you get compound interest. So you can see your money is growing from 2036 to 2072 and 2109. Okay, now let's look at the definition. Simple interest is an amount of money received by anyone who saves money in the bank within a period of time. So that happens in your first year. Okay, tahun pertama kamu simpan duit dalam bank, kamu dapat simple interest, faedah. Okay. Whereas for compound interest, it starts from second year onwards. So second year, starting from second year, third year, fourth year and so on, is an interest received from your savings and interest. Okay, you see that? Not only your savings are earning interest, your interest from the first year is also earning interest. Okay? So if I simplify it, your savings earning interest is called simple interest only the savings whereas your savings plus your interest earning interest is called compound interest okay so that's the difference this one is savings only this one is savings plus interest okay another thing you also need to know that your interest is based on your savings so the more savings you have the more interest you earn okay so for example what happens if the saving is withdrawn if you take out your savings the savings will decrease kurang jadi dikurangkan then your interest will also decrease okay so this is uh, the basic if you have a lot of savings you will get a lot of interest sebab faedah berdasarkan simpanan simpanan tinggi faedah tinggi simpanan rendah faedah pun rendah Okay, so that is simple interest and compound interest. Okay, you can ask me a question tomorrow when I see you, don't worry. Okay, next I don't want to touch on credit and debt. Okay, credit and debt. Okay, for example, um, let's say you follow your father to buy a water filter machine, Poku or Kowei, 4850 ringgit. Okay. So instead of paying cash, you can pay using credit card. Okay, I'm paying using credit card. So what is a credit card? Now credit card is a loan, pinjaman, loan convenience by the bank. Okay, the bank is lending you money. All right. So the bank will pay for the water filter machine first, and then you do not have to carry a lot of cash so when the bank paid for the water filter machine first now you owe the bank okay so you have to pay the bank within the time given if not then you will be charged interest and late payment okay so what happens here is there are three parties involved here. You, uh, Kowei for example, I 
to put it here. Okay, you, Kowe or Koku, I don't know, and the bank. Okay, so when you want to buy something, you can use cash, of course. If you pay cash, you, you don't owe the bank. But do you have this much money? And you don't want to carry this, this much money to the shopping mall. It's dangerous, okay? You may be robbed. So instead of paying cash to Kowe, you use credit card. Okay, you use credit card. So when you use a credit card from the bank, so the bank will pay Kowe first. Okay, bank akan bayarkan untuk kamu dulu. And then you have to pay back to the bank. Okay, bila bank bayarkan untuk kamu, sekarang kamu hutang dengan bank, kamu kena bayar balik dengan bank. So that is how a credit card works. Now, usually you are given about 20 days, okay, 20 days uh, to pay back the money, alright? If you pay back within uh, 20 days, you don't have to pay extra. You only pay 4,850 ringgit. But if you take longer than 20 days, okay, you delay and delay, you don't pay back in full, then you have to pay interest. Faida akan dikenakan. And if you don't pay by the due date, usually is on the 10th of each month, then the bank will charge you late payment charge. So it's interest plus late payment charge. Okay, so bila bank bayarkan, kam, untuk, uh, bayarkan untuk kamu, kamu ada lebih kurang 20 hari, 20 days, untuk pulangkan duit itu. Bayar balik kepada bank. Okay, kalau awak bayar balik dalam 20 hari, kamu hanya perlu bayar harga asal dia. RM4,850. Kalau awak lewat, okay, lewat daripada 20 hari, kamu kena bayar RM4,850 tambah faedah yang dikenakan, tambah penalti yang dikenakan sebab bayar balik lewat. Okay? So remember, uh, this is how it works, okay? Credit card means a facility, a loan convenience given by the bank. The bank pays for you first and you have to pay back. Okay, so credit, the word credit here means loan. Or in Bahasa means uh, pinjaman or hutang. Okay, you owe money. So it's a convenience to postpone the payment. See, you only postpone the payment. Okay, kamu tak perlu bayar sekarang tapi kena bayar masa depan dalam 20 hari. Okay, so tetap kena bayar juga. Postpone the payment of the items you buy or you purchase. Alright, or the money loaned to you by the bank. On the other hand, debt hutang is a loan needed to be paid by someone. So, kalau awak hutang bank, kamu ada debt. Debt means hutang. Credit means pinjaman. Okay, daripada bank. Okay, so you ask me, teacher, so why do I have to use credit card? Why can't I pay cash? Alright, so now you look at this difference here. Buying something using cash or credit card. Okay, so if you want to buy something, for example, this television, 1,290 ringgit. Okay, if you want to buy uh, cash using cash, you have to bring 1,290 ringgit in your wallet. Okay, using cash. So, if you buy something using cash, you're going to do it. Number one. You're not in debt. Tiada hutang. Sebab saya beli dengan cash. Number two, tiada faedah dikenakan. No interest. Because that is your money. Okay, cash is your money. Number three, you're paying for the actual price. That means if the price tag is 1,290 ringgit, you pay exactly 1,290 ringgit. Okay, dia tak ada le bayaran yang lebih. Kamu bayar saja apa yang kamu nampak dekat tag harga. 
and lastly payment is made in full okay that means kamu uh, bayar sekaligus 1290 ringgit okay so that is buying using cash whereas if you buy using credit card number one you are in debt means kamu hutang bank number two interest is imposed kamu dikenakan faedah okay if you pay back late or if the bank charges you interest but sometimes you can get zero percent uh, installment so you don't have to pay interest so it depends number three if you are paying interest that means you pay more than actual price kalau faedah dikenakan awak bayar lebih daripada harga tag harga so orang beli cash 1200 lebih mungkin awak beli 1400 lebih sebab faedah so kamu bayar lebih and lastly payment via credit card and monthly installment so if you use credit card you don't have to pay one off at 1200 ringgit you can use installment that means uh, every month you pay a smaller amount for example for 12 months installment ansoran right installment ansoran so you bagi 12 so instead of 1290 ringgit you only pay uh, 120 ringgit okay 120 ringgit 90 cents so the amount is smaller okay but if you plus the interest the total amount will be higher okay so the payment the total payment will be higher if you pay by credit card compared to pay by cash so you need to look for zero percent interest if you want to do installment look for zero percent interest kalau uh, kadar sifar maksudnya tiada faedah dikenakan ok alright for today's homework I want you to try page 109 ok muka surat 109 just try um, question one, question uh, two and three. Okay, so question one just match it. Okay, padankan jawapan kepada definasi dia, match the word to the meaning, and then question two read and answer the question. Number three provide three differences between purchasing via credit and cash. So it's all writing, okay? No calculation today, okay? So please do your homework and I'll discuss this homework tomorrow in the lesson. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.